18 Wheel Talk. 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 Welcome oh. to the show. <laughs> 18 <laughs> Wheel Talk Podcast Show, episode 22. Is it really 22? Two, two, twenty-two. Yes, twenty-two. Funny years. I know, right? I'm we're gonna take you on a. You lot now. See now, I forgot one. Welcome to the Eighteen Wheel Talk Podcast Show, <laughs> Episode Twenty Two. We're gonna take you on a roller coaster ride of the Eighteen Wheel Talk kind. See, I knew it was there. I just had to pause, <laughs> rewind. <laughs> I was making bunny ears in the video. I know. You had me. Yeah. Ooh, bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. If you uh, if you got us in your earbuds, thank you. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, do, us a, do us a favor. Leave us a review. If, we're, if we make you laugh, if you find us entertaining in some, some way, shape, or form, Leave us a review and let us know how we're doing, please, and thank you. And for further entertainment, there will be a blooper reel coming soon. A blooper reel, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We've been working on that blooper reel for half an hour this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. Freeze frame. Freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, freeze phrase. Yeah. Oh, now he's sipping coffee. That's what started it all last time. I he know, sipped coffee. I, know, I can't I drink coffee right now. And, and you got mad. The whole and, thing. Then, and, and then free then... frame. <laughs> That's anyways, anyways uh, if you wouldn't mind, please go to your favorite podcast player. Leave us a review. Give us five stars. Tell us how we're doing. You know, if we're entertaining you, if you like the show, don't like the show. If you don't like the show, email me, Patrick at 18wheeltalk.com. Let me know what we can do to make it better for you. Please, please, I, I, and thank I, you. I take all comments. If uh, you know, we're on Instagram and Twitter. If you find something interesting, you think that uh, you would love to hear us talk about, let us know. Tag us eighteen. You know, hashtag one eight wt. I always check the hashtag. He's I always really good about. That. I always hashtag everything that we post with that with that tag. So, anyways, welcome to our show. Today, after Janet chug 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 hot tea, decaf tea, hot tea. tea. You didn't stick your pinky out. <laughs> you were too fist in it. Whoa, check that shit out, pinky and all. Cute pinky too. Whoa, you drawing your log on the other side of the pond, literally. Well, I need a little teacup for that. A little teacup. We have them in the cupboard. Hut. Yeah, the hutch. Woo. Anyway. Stop the show. Deet, 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 deet. <laughs> <laughs> when you deet, deet, that always messes things I, up. You it know that. messes up the, the, the transcriber. That's why I haven't used it because it's like. It, it doesn't understand it, it. It doesn't understand my English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What happened was we were trying we were trying out a new program that would transcribe the show. So that way, you know, who was talking when it went, you know, who, what, when and where. And you know, certain minutes tells you what time, yeah. You know, and I had a hiccup. I think it's updating. Yeah. To the, be honest with you, the I, normal transcribers is me. Well, you're you. We basically, you know, yeah. We we listen out. We record the show, then we listen to it together. And Janet has a faster typer than I am, so therefore she types up the description that you read in the show notes. And he helps I'm me the one. Them. I'm the one that copies and pastes it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good copy and paster. I, I drag and drop and make sure it makes sense. And and then I add in pictures and all the fun stuff. A, any links to products or websites or anything that we talk about on this podcast show that, that we should do a behind the scenes thing. I am working on a behind the scenes scenes thing. See? I got these little GoPro cameras. I forgot about the GoPros. I got I got Duce. One Duce. one's gonna be on, you know. I think we're going to pull one behind us, and then we'll put one, like, in the corner in front of us. So we oh, get a couple. Over on the lamp over yeah, here? Yeah. It, it would work right there on the lamp, that spot. Yeah, I got a, I got a clamp that, that I can hook it on to. <gasps> I figured this way. Uh, we, we, I had to order new batteries, 
Um, so so I got new batteries. They side, came, they came side in a, note, yes. They came in a box like this. Where, you know, the batteries came in a box this big, but they shipped it to us in a box this big. Yeah, it was fun. So those people that are listening and not seeing, the batteries came in a box about one inch by two inch by half an inch. Yes. And they came in a box that was about... 10 by 6 by 8. It was about 20 times bigger than what it needed to be. Yeah. <laughs> that and box, it had labels on it that said batteries. That's why they used a box, because they needed a box big enough to put the sticker on. They could have used a padded envelope. It came on Amazon. I mean, it came right here from Phoenix. I know. They could have. Ding bats. Anyway, now that we've got all Anyways, that out of our system. Anyways, that's something we're working on. Stay tuned. Okay. Maybe at, maybe our maybe our twenty fifth episode we might get I might get the cameras up and running oh. that'll be on our twenty fifth YouTube you can catch it on YouTube we'll have all these different angles hopefully hopefully we'll see. fingers crossed I say it should fingers just be crossed a- that I learned the editing program yes. <laughs> I say we should just do it as a separate as a as, as a separate behind the scenes. Ooh. A bonus video. What? What? Say it isn't true. All right. No, I like that. I like that idea. We'll do a bonus video. You want you want bonus videos? Subscribe to our show. You got to go to YouTube and subscribe. Yep. And we're we're so, working on we're working on a whole bunch of stuff. So, so, so before we so make start sure the you're show, subscribed. Yes, dear. I want to bring up that we've been busy in spite of the fact that I've been I, I'd like to say a little bit majorly under the weather, not mm-hmm. with COVID, but majorly under the weather. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's been fun. <laughs> so we've been busy. We won't we, get into detail. We did the drawing for the people that won the cups yes. and the t-shirts. Yes, we did our mug t-shirt drawing. And we got all those mailed out. And hopefully by now everybody has them. We did not. I mean, we had we had one winner, but we didn't get as many votes as we wanted to. So we said, screw it. Everybody that voted, whatever cup you voted for, you got your cup and a T-shirt. We, we it, had we one cup that was a winner is what do you mean? Not yeah. one winner. One distinctive. One distinctive cup that won. So we sent right. out cup and T-shirt these, to everybody that voted. Everybody got everybody got a T-shirt and whatever mug they voted so for. So if you're watching the video, this is the front. This is the back. So it has the logo on the front and the descript on the back. Yeah, it says this this shirt supports, supports the, show. the show. And if you want to help us out, support the show, you like what you hear, you could go to uh, the number one, the number eight, wheeltalk.com slash t-shirt, <coughs> and, and you can get your own. Part so, of me. Anyways, on that note, let's get, get into the, this. Let's get the show on the road. I don't care what we're doing. I want to know what we're going to talk about right now. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> All aboard. Heading to crazy town. <laughs> we're there. Chug, 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 chug. Okay. Eddie? Anyways. I want to talk about masks. Yeah. I, 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 with with the, the, the vaccines, whichever one that is out there that you feel is the best. You know, there are still there are still people that are anti-maskers. There are people that feel that they, yes, I got the shots. I, I still feel that I need them. And there's stores that still say, "Hey, wait until we till till this is done and over with." I you I want a mask on your face, you know, in our store. But nobody really enforces it. They they've lifted mask mandates which I don't understand, you know, they lifted the mask mandates, but yet how do I know that you don't have a, you know, you're not vaccinated? How do I know you're vaccinated? You don't. A good example is we were in big box store, Walmart yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It was yesterday. Walmart in our town still has signs on the door, masks required. They still have someone at the door, making sure you're wearing a mask. People coming through. Have a mask on. As soon as they get in the door, though, off well, it comes. they're fifty foot inside the door, and off it comes, and it goes in their back pocket. And then the employees, they yeah. look at them, and the, some employees were saying, "Could you please put your mask on?" And I saw one guy say, "No." Yeah. And the employee just like they're not going to enforce it. They're they, not going to get in a fight with yeah, someone over a mask. They can't. They can't. Yeah, they're not. They're not allowed to enforce it. Yeah. That's that's what they drives can me. Ask. Up. It's like the person at the door is like, make sure you keep your mask on. They otherwise you're going to have to leave. But they, but they don't have like a security force in there. Well, they hit what they have is they have security in Walmart, but they wear plain clothes. Yeah. 
their security is in charge of shoplifters. Their security is not in charge of people that wear masks. They'd be too busy all day. Well, like I said, it's like, you know. But you can't look at someone and tell if they've had the vaccine. Exactly. The thing is, is you don't, in our area, you don't have to wear the mask indoors or outdoors if you have had both shots. I mean, unless Two weeks after both shots. Well, I mean, unless unless you look like this when you get, after you get the vaccine. <laughs> the vaccine does not change the way you look. <laughs> Oh, goody, because otherwise I'm fucked. <laughs> ten minutes into the show, okay? Ten minutes. It was ten minutes this time. Oh, good. I'm so proud of you. High five. F F bombs. Oh, wait. Wait. High five. There. High five. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. She's trying to curb the F bomb. I'm trying to curb and the F bomb. It's not going to happen. Make us a little more user friendly. No, we're explicit. I'm 21 or older. He's explicit. 20, I'm, you want in on you want in on this show twenty one or older? That doesn't mean you have to curse. I show does. <laughs> you know when you look, when you listen, die. Last I wait, knew. Stop. Wait 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 stop. wait wait. Stop. Last I knew, I had freedom of speech. Don't get me started. <laughs> and this is our show. We can talk about it any way we fucking want to. My dad's gonna reach down from heaven, grab you by the, by by the neck, by the bullhorn, <laughs> by the neck. <laughs> And choke it out of you and tell you to quit swearing. No, no. He'd be like, he son, chill. Knock it off. Chill the fuck out. He will not say, <laughs> he will say, knock it off. My dad wasn't really big on swearing. He I used to, know. He's I the only say, truck driver I know that wouldn't swear. He would cuss like, gosh darn, or. He wouldn't even say, dang it. He would, because when I'd say, dang it all, daddy, he'd say, you're cussing. I'm like, no, I said, dang, not damn. And he'd <laughs> He gave it the rundown. No, that's cussing. Yeah, that's cussing. Janet Marie. Yeah, Janet Marie. Janet I've Marie. heard that so many well, times. That's cussing. I have heard my middle name so many times in my life. It's All right. just not even All funny. Right. Let's, let's, back reel us, real. let's reel us back in here. All okay. right. We're talking about to mask or not, not to, to mask. mask. So. All right. Now, I know there are people that are like, they have an excuse as to why I can't wear a mask. But then there are, we have, we have like the top reasons to wear the mask. So we're going to go, we're going to go through. Back and forth. Yeah. We're going to have a a debate on whether to wear a mask or not wear a mask. Okay. Tell tell us your opinion. You guys can give us your opinion too. You know, you guys can, can email me at Patrick at 18 wheel talk and we'll do a, we'll do a second podcast on to mask, you know, and, and just put in the, in, in the subject line, you know, mask. So the biggest one that I hear, uh, why not to wear it, not only online, on social media, Mm -hmm. on the news, but from people that we both know is, it's my right. It's my freedom. I don't have to do it because the man tells me to. They're they're violating my freedom. Yeah, they're discriminating against me. But, okay, so. Come on. It's like, really? That, people say it's violating their freedom i agree i i i i get what they're trying to say however the only reason why they came up with a mask mandate is for your benefit and protection (laughs) okay that was that's like the number one reason it works if if i wear a mask and you're wearing a mask you're protecting me i'm protecting you because if i have covid you're not going to get it and my spit is not going to go on you and if you have COVID because you're wearing a mask, your spit's not going to come on me. That's that's the CDC reason. Blah blah blah. Okay, so I get the whole freedom thing. I uh, understand it because back when I was a kid, seat belts weren't required. You know, back in the 1800s, seat belts were not required. 1800s. Yeah. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. We I, rode in the back of pickup trucks when I was a kid. Listen, that was. I'm with you on that. Okay. I, I, I agree. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Motorcycle helmets were not required. They still are not required here in Arizona. Right. But you're supposed to, you really should wear them. You should. Most states require motorcycle helmets. All states require seatbelts. Look, I'm all for kids, it. Kids used to be able to ride anywhere in a car. Now, if you have a kid in the front seat of a car in any state, That's because the, you're getting a ticket. And the reason being is because when it's they, put, when they came out with the airbags, airbags were killing kids. 
That's why they said it's anybody not about under, freedom, though. Under, I know, but that's why they anybody under a certain age needs to or be in the back and wait. Exactly. That's why they came up with the the, the rule. But well, people it's said. The rule. But when it came out, I was dating a guy who had kids, and he's like, "I want my kids to ride in the front seat," and I said, "No, it's against the law." Well, that's my freedom of right, and I'm like, "In your own car, not in mine." Yeah. I don't care what you do in your own car. Well, I did because I cared about his kids, well, but. Yeah. But he kept talking about his freedom. So the whole freedom when a new rule comes out is all always going to be there. I don't think masks are going away. It's just like no shirt, no shoes, no service. Exactly. Do no, you want to no. go into a restaurant where people are barefoot? No. Hell no. no. I don't want to see people stinky feet. No, I don't either. Oh, God, no. I mean, if Ugh. I'm at the beach going to a, a walk-up place, well, that's, that's fine. That's a that's different, different story. story. You're at a, you're at a beach. <laughs> I mean, they have those. Yes. But yeah, no. I mean, yeah, I understand it's your freedom is being, but come on, really? It's, there's a reasoning behind it. It benefits everybody. And, and if it's a requirement, it's a requirement. If you don't like it, shop somewhere else. Well, and then that's, that's, that's my opinion. I don't, you know, I, I, look, I, I don't care either way. I would rather not have to wear them. I wish we could go back to the way it was, but I, I agree with you. I think masks are going to be here to stay for a little while longer, even after people are being vaccinated, because it's look how long they've been around in like Japan or or um, well, that's be, well, that's also because of the pollution. Air yeah, the air quality there sucks. Well, well Arizona's is the same way. The air Arizona quality sucks. sucks. Um, and masks do help with um, allergies. Yeah, I, I, but I also agree with you. That that I I think they're going to be here for a little while longer. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I mean after after you're vaccinated, they say after about two weeks of two your weeks. second shot. Yep. Which oh my god, I found I <laughs> I found a picture that uh, <laughs> that that uh, uh, of two shot glasses. I'm going to post it under this, okay? Because we're talking about shots and everything. Uh, two shot glasses. One says first COVID shot, second COVID shot. And, and so, so that if I just saw that before, that would have been our, I would, I would have used that as our, our shots. I wouldn't have gone and, and had somebody stick a needle in my arm. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> but I will, I'll, I'll post it. I'll post it in the show notes. It'll be in the show notes for this. Um, oh, and, 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 and we made some changes to our website while I'm, while I'm on that. Um, any episode that you're looking for on our website, all you do is type in your browser the number one, the number eight, wheeltalk.com, the little slash, and then the letter E and whatever episode number you're looking for. So and like we, this one would be E22. Exactly. Were we on 22? Yep. Yeah, 22. we decided that. Oh, yeah, bunny ears. Yeah, bunny ears. And then um, um, I also created a, a library. So there's uh, you go to 18wheeltalk.com, right uh, uh, right at the top of the page in the tabs, There's there's a – episode library that the big drop down menu all the episodes that are live if it's live it's there you click on it, it'll take you there okay so i just so, want to let i'm just trying to make it easier for people to find our episodes if they can't find us on their favorite podcast player they can just go to our website so i know someone you know someone I who, do. who said to another mutual friend i don't think you were in the room what that she said I guarantee that I could walk into a Circle K filled with people with COVID. I could, she said, I could walk into a Circle K filled with people with COVID. I could walk in there buck naked, roll around in the dirt in the floor, walk out, and not catch COVID because it's not real. Yeah, but I don't, I, I, I don't think she's going to walk in butt naked though. Oh, she would. Well, maybe. Oh, come on, you know who we're talking about. Yeah. I dare her to. I, she listens. I dare her. To, I, I think that's how she worded it. I could I, be wrong on the wording, but it was something like no, that. No, no. I think that's pretty accurate. I think that's I think pretty it close. Is. I think it's pretty close. You pretty know? goddamn close. There. But, See, I swore again. 19 minutes in. But but it wasn't an F-bomb. Okay. <laughs> I love her to pieces, but I don't think she wears a mask. No. Uh, 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 she does. She does when she, she has to. She does when she has to, which... which that's fine. That that to me is fine. I I have no problem with that. I mean, if you're going to walk into a store and it's got a mask, a, a, a sign of there, you know, a mask is required to enter the store. Put a mask on and walk into the store, do well, what you got to do, and then come back out, take it off. When we went That's to, what everybody else does. When we went to the Legion with my brother, mm -hmm. 
We went in with a mask on. They said masks weren't required. We went to the table, sat down, and took our masks off. Right. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, we did what was required. Exactly. You know, it wasn't the fact that, <gasps> oh my God. It, come on. No, and it's, it, I think people just need to be reasonable. If we're in a small group or a comfortable setting, like when I had your birthday party, yeah, stuff like that, or we're, at a friend's house or like a legion where you kind of, it's a smaller, you comfy, know everybody. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. But if we're in Walmart. Yeah. I mean, oh, come man. on. You know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know those people. When we're I don't in a know one person store, from another. I don't know if you got. If I'm at a concert, COVID, I want a mask on. Yeah, exactly. You know? But I mean, if we're going to be able to be within six feet of each other. Yeah. But, if a mask is required at a big event like that, then wear it. Yeah, concerts. Wear it. I don't. I, yeah, I know. Like we're outdoors. Well, not everybody's out. You know, plays outdoors. Yeah, I know. Um, but there's a lot of people that feel the, that the virus isn't real. Uh, yeah, like, right. Tell that to all the people who lost loved ones. I, I, I was just gonna say, I you know. know people that have actually had it. Yeah. Or, or, or you know, had it and are didn't die from it, but are you know still have effects from it. Yeah, we've lost family members on my family. You know, I I was just to say you you know people that you know on your side of the family that have yeah died from it. Died, you can died say. from it. Okay. Um, but there's people that, that, that have been coronaed. My fa I think my fa <laughs> sorry my favorite reason for not wearing the mask is it gives you carbon monoxide poisoning from breathing in too much carbon monoxide. And if you got a mask that you can't breathe through, you got the wrong mask. Yeah, I I I, I totally agree. Then it's it's too thick because surgeons have been wearing masks. I can't they, even tell you when surgeons started wearing masks. They have those disposable paper masks that people can buy that, yeah. that will protect you mm -hmm. and allow you to breathe. And a lot of stores, if you go in and say, Hey, do you have a paper mask? They'll give them to you. Exactly. They still do that. Yeah. Uh, now I, I, uh, when they started coming out with all the different variants, the, the type of work that I used to do is I was, I was a, an essential employee. I picked up, I used to go to hospitals. He was essential, but they didn't claim he was. Yeah. Anyways, story for another day. Mm -hmm. um, we were essential. And when all the different variants started coming out, I went to wearing two masks. I wore a regular mask. And then I, I, I had uh, one of those gaiters that I wear, wore over the top of that to protect myself because I was like, I don't want this. I, uh, I don't want to, you know, feel like somebody ran, ran me over, like, you know, with a steamroller. Yeah. I, and I, you were in and out of hospitals for well I mean, over a year and you, you listen, I when, mean, since COVID when, when COVID started back in November, uh, uh, October, October, November of 19, because it's, already, it's, it's yeah. COVID-19. So it was 2019 when it came out in over. Well, you always wore masks w during flu season. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah, because the idiots I worked with didn't know enough to stay at hell home. And I didn't want to catch the flu. So <laughs> it's like when you're sick, you know, if we get 40 hours of sick pay. It's like, you know, if you're sick, stay the you fuck home. You know, it, take, take the four days, go see your doctor, get your antibiotic and get better. Duh. Anyways, I you know, when I first heard about the outbreak of COVID nineteen, I started wearing a mask because yeah. I knew that eventually it was going to come here, and so I'm like, well, screw this. And I was able to get masks from the, the hospitals by the box, you know. So I I used to get a box, and then the next week get another box, and, and I get start, another box, you know. I'm, and 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 I. I, I held on to them. So I had, we had an overabundance of them and that's how I protected myself as it progressed. Well, and I was driving Lyft and Uber at the time. And I told you to start wearing them. I was wearing a mask when I was driving and the same time in October, I started, I was, I'm already a clean freak. So I was already washing, taking my car to the car wash. Sanitizing. And sanitizing it once a day. But when that hit, I started sanitizing in between every rider and that's back in October. So when yeah. fast yeah. forward to, well, I think it, like, I think it came fast out forward, like November, wasn't it? Like, so whatever it was, but fast forward to like January when they said you really need to sanitize between riders, I had already been doing it for a couple months. months. Yeah. So I was, and then when everybody hit 
the whole, oh, grab all the Lysol wipes and everything. I yeah, already yeah. had a stockpile because I had been doing that because but, yeah. I was already a clean freak. Yeah. Well, I mean, when, when, when you're, when toilet paper was obsolete and then on next thing you know, it's, you know, the, the disinfectant wipes disappeared and then you couldn't get sanitizer, hand sanitizer because we already had it all, you know, and, and you got to figure I worked for a company that it was part of our equipment. That was our PPE yeah. Hand sanitizer was our PPE and we couldn't get it because somebody dropped the ball and, and I didn't get us on that important list. And so. I sent you to work with hand sanitizer that I had that oh, yeah. I bought. Because I, well, I mean, I, I did have a bottle that I was able to get. You know, we used yeah, to have the, 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 small the small ones. Bottles. But when that ran out, I already had hand sanitizer because I already used it because of driving and everything else. Because, like I said, I'm already a clean freak. And yep. if you don't believe me, ask Kyle. Yeah, because, I mean, it's like, it's like January. When January of 2020, February of 2020, when it really started building momentum and you could see the, you know, the – the fear we couldn't get san we put an order in for hand sanitizer they said yeah you'd be lucky to see it you know by july we didn't see it until august yeah. almost almost okay you know september before we saw anything so now let's go back to masks but you know <laughs> sorry anyways so anyways, people you, say said, the you said you said you said you were talking about how i can't breathe it gives me carbon dioxide poisoning yes but i i disagree I do too. I mean, if you're now, there are if masks you're wearing that, stainless steel over your face, guess what? You got the wrong kind of mask. On. I Sorry. do have one mask that I find it hard to breathe in. Oh, it's, it, it it's is the my thickness. backup absolute emergency mask. I'm washing all the others. Yeah, it's it's a thick. It, you know. It's because of the thickness. And then there's <laughs> I I bought some neck gaiters. Uh -huh. And I thought, well, I'm going to try the neck gaiter. And I put it on. I was like, oh, I can't breathe through this. How do you do this? And I took it off. <laughs> so then Patrick grabs it and he's like, wow, that's the thickest one that's I've the ever thickest seen. thickest gaiter I've ever seen. I mean, that thing <laughs> must monster. be for snowmobiling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I, you know what I think it is? I think it's because it's the bears. The bears. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's thick to keep your face warm in the wintertime. <laughs> Well, I, Come on. that never occurred to me. Come on. <laughs> I could check yours, but it's for <laughs> yeah. up north too. Well, yeah, I know. So anyway. That's all right. We're limited on it. So. But I don't feel you're going to have carbon dioxide poison because doctors and nurses and all them, wear, they were wearing two masks, three masks. Their heads were in bubbles and they survived. Come okay. on. Okay. So I also know someone that said wearing a mask was a symbol of discrimination that they were being discriminated against by being asked to wear a mask because they were one of the last people able to get a shot and they don't have theirs yet. I replied, you don't have your shot because you haven't signed up. It's not that you're not able to. Right. You're on a high priority list to get it. Mm -hmm. You are scared to get it. Yep. And you admitted that to me. That's not because you're being discriminated against. It's because you're waiting to get yours and you're being asked to wear a mask because you don't have yours. That's not discrimination. Right. That's just, you don't want to get your shot. So wear a mask. Grow listen, a set. Listen, I, I know there's people out there that are anti-vaxxers. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm sorry. I want to take it to, we're usually really funny, I'm told. And I'm sorry, this isn't the funniest one in the world, but... <laughs> It is what it is. It's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I know there's anti-vaxxers vaxxers out there. Now, now, I'm one of those people, like, I got the flu shot once, probably about 20 years ago, you know, when I first started for the, my med the medical waste company I worked for. I got okay. one once as a teenager. But I got it because it was a requirement because they, they were coming out with a uh, an install team because we, we did sharps containers. Yeah. You know, reusable sharps containers. And I needed it to be in the hot. It was a requirement to be inside the hospitals. So I went through and got every shot that I needed, you know, that, that was required of me to be in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. And then they pulled the team. So I'm okay. like, no, never again. It's against my religious beliefs to do that. And I never had another one. Okay. I haven't either. But you know who doesn't have to wear a mask? Well, I, well, I, let, let me finish okay. my point. My, my point is I was doing my due diligence on the vaccines. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not FDA approved. None of them are. I know. They're, they're still in testing. Yeah, they're still in testing. And I'm like, I, uh, I reluctant, but I went and got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now I'm finding out that we're going to have to have a booster every year. I'm Probably like, they haven't most, decided yet. Mostly, to me, a vaccine. If it's a vaccine, it's it it should protect me for ten years. That to me is a vaccine. Every ten years, I got to get a shot. That's not a vaccine. Day. You know, like I said, if it's if I got to get a shot every year, it's not a vaccine. You know, I know it's a it's a it's a it's a COVID shot, just like the flu shot. You know. Yes, I'm a fidget today. Uh, no, I, you're fine. But my my thing is is. If it's a vaccine, all right, I got my I got my two shots. It should protect me for 10 years. If it doesn't, you're not going to see me in line to get another one. I I agree. I, you know, so, that's that's my opinion. It's not a vaccine. It's a it, 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 Patrick. Sorry. Do you want to know who doesn't have to wear a who mask? Who? Pets and headless people. Yes. I heard that somewhere. Pets I read that somewhere. Pets and headless people don't have to wear masks. So our but, pugs don't have to wear masks. Although if they came out with a mask for a pug, I would so put them on our girls could, and take pictures. We could make masks for the pugs. To take pictures of them? Yeah. Okay. Just to show that. I can make a mask. I, believe me. I, I told you, if I could find a muzzle for Frankie, I'm getting one. You are not putting our <laughs> I'm Frankie. I'm going to make one. You are not putting Frankie in a mask. <laughs> They're both being really good. I'm fidgeting a little because I'm a fidget, and I'm fidgeting a little because I got pugs, one under each foot. <laughs> you got pugs under toe? Under toe. I got under toe. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Like I said, I I, I understand the, the need to be vaccinated. I really do, okay? But if it's a, if it's a one and done, if I, if I got my, my, my shots and, and I'm going to be protected for 10 years, who's just say this is still going to be around in 10 years. They haven't said that it's not. They, they haven't, haven't, say, they they haven't, haven't said, they haven't said that it is either because it's not FDA approved yet. And I was, you know, when I, when we, when we went and got our first shots, that was when Johnson and Johnson got shut down because of the blood clots. And I'm like, see, I wanted, I wanted to wait until I knew for sure. I, my mom was on my ass about it. Yes, mom, you were on my ass about it. I love you. And, 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 and other people were saying, you need to do it. You need to do it. You need to do it. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. Do you want to know why I got my shot? Why? Because I think about people like, okay, I catch things. I don't get really sick very often. No. This bug that I've had is not, it's just not contagious. I don't even want to talk about it. Um. It's diverticulitis. I'll yeah. just say that. It's, yeah, it's not, not contagious, contagious. Okay. It's not contagious. It's just. It's it, a it, bear. It knocks you on your ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smack you. So to speak. Okay. Anyway. Okay. It's not contagious. It's a, it's just not fun. It's, anyway. It's irritating. I do catch things once in a blue moon. Mm -hmm. But if I were to catch coronavirus. Okay. Yeah. Or COVID. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to call it. And we happen to be back the, in New York visiting your parents. The vid. And I gave it to your parents. I would feel horrible. I totally If I, I totally If agree. I got it and went to my brother's house and gave it to Dave or Roxy, mm -hmm. I would feel horrible. I totally agree. That's why I got it. Because right. if I gave it to someone that I love, mm -hmm. it, because I, I catch things and I knock them out. Okay. I, I really do. I, I, uh, but I, the I, idea that I gave someone I love something like that, that could kill them. I agree with you. Uh, but that's I why wanted, I got my shot. I wanted to that's wait. That's why I wear a mask. I, I still wanted to wait until we had more facts. Everything was still brand new. Johnson and Johnson got shut down because of the blood clots, you know, because, out of 700,000 shots, six people, six women yes. died from a blood clot. But then we found out that all of them gave you a blood clot. So it didn't matter well, which. Well, we also found out that the six women weren't most of them diabetic, overweight, out of shape, had heart I, problems. There was so there, there was, was related there conditions. Were, yeah, there, were, there was all. The, but I, I was like, oh, great. You know, just what I was didn't want to do because. I was, you know, I was just kind of like, I was like, I kind of huffed and puffed like, oh, great. Now that second shot is going to be Russian roulette. Oh, you get the, you get the blood clot. Woohoo. <laughs> okay. But now we've had both our shots for two weeks. Has it been two weeks? It's been two weeks. No. Yes. No, it's only been a week. Two. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
show. What day did we have our shot? Anyway, we've had our shots for two weeks now. Have a look now. I think. I, th I think it's only been a week. I think it's been two. No. Mm. It is a week and a day. Oh, my bad. Okay, it's been eight days since we had our second shot. How sick are you? Oh, my God. Mentally, I'm totally fucked up. I am not talking about your mental capabilities, buddy. <laughs> we do not have enough time in the day listen, for me to go over your mental. Listen, I, I know people who got their... Mental instability runs in your family. Listen, I, I got, have physical proof. I have talked I got, to your sister. I, <laughs> I had mental pause. Give me. A I just threw her under the bus, and she's <laughs> never going to know it. She's never going to talk to you about it, because she doesn't listen she to the show. She doesn't listen to the show. I can throw she's her under not the gonna, bus. Don't worry about it. Elis Anyways. Wait, 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 Elizabeth, I threw you under the bus. I dare you to bring this up to me. Okay, yeah. now let's go yeah. on. Yeah, call her. 1 800. <laughs> give a shit. I, I don't care. 1 800. <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, I know people that got their second shot and got, you know, fevers, body aches. Like, basically, they felt like they got the flu for a day, for, for two days. Okay. Okay. Now, me, I, Six hours after the second shot, my arms started and felt a little sore. The next day, <laughs> our phone is ringing. <laughs> oh, they must be calling me, telling me, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Stop talking about it. That's your sister. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm telling you. Ring. I'm telling you. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna rip that phone out of the wall. <laughs> we don't use it anymore. I might as well, we might as well get rid of it. It's, our bill's cheaper with it. <sighs> so, anyway. You think you think the secretary would answer the phone? <laughs> nope. <laughs> He's sleeping or gaming. <laughs> he could talk Spanish, you know. <laughs> anyway. I'm a little tied up. So we're doing a podcast. He doesn't pick the phone up. Because we're, we're, we're closer. Anyway. Um, oh, my God. That's hilarious. So after I had the second shot, or after I had the first shot, I was really tired and, and my arm ached for a day. Okay. After I had the second shot, I was really tired and my arm ached. Yeah. For a day. Well, your my arm ached for, further for, for, for three but days. I was the first I, shot mine and my hurt for three days. But the I shot also mine. the tiredness, we was it because of yeah. the shot or was it because I've had diverticulitis? Yeah. Which I, I was really tired. We don't know. From so I don't know. I, you can't say was it either or. I know. But I was like already I said, I sleeping every day. I didn't feel any of that, you know, hot, whatever, you know, temperature, nothing. No, me either. You know. I was I was actually shocked that my you know, the soreness of my arm was six hours after the shot was in and then it went away the like I think twelve hours after it started feeling yeah, sore. And they it's say gone. that using your arm makes you feel better. And I went for a motorcycle ride a couple of days later and that helped. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I did some two wheel therapy because I needed it. Anyway, hey, so hey, let's get works. back to masking. Works, masking, works. masking, masking, masking. Um, some people say it's not cool to wear a mask. And here's my reply to that Look at every biker on a motorcycle, whether they wear a helmet or not. What do, what do 90% of them wear? They wear a mask to keep the dirt and shit, shit out of their face and they, wear, and they wear a scarf they wear a mask they wear something over so, their face so if bikers can do it you can do it if bikers can wear a mask you can wear a mask i don't care how because many, listen i don't care what color it is i'll wear a mask yeah i don't bother me none you know why i feel it it's not not you know it doesn't make me cool or anything you know what what if there's if there's a mandate to wear a mask i can still rob a bank <gasps> oh i never thought of that you won't see my face I just got to wear sunglasses. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, I didn't think of that, did you? Well, hat, mask. Exactly, mask, sunglasses. Uh, see, let me borrow your hat. No. Oh, you would have to take your stuff off. Yeah, no. But if I, I had, my hat. well, if I had a mask, let me grab this paper. The mask comes to here. Yeah, I know, I know it's you, though, because I, I recognize your red glasses. I wouldn't wear my red glasses. Well, then how would you see? How would you see to read the note? I'd wear a different pair. <laughs> I wear contacts. How would you see to read the note that you're going to I give don't have to read the note. I have to write it and then hand it. I don't have to read it to them. Okay. Turkey. I, I, anyway. So. That's one, that, that's one so good reason to wear a mask. 
Yeah, so you can rob a bank. You can rob. You know, the I, I bank would. robberies have gone up since in have, Valley at least. Have they? Yeah, because people are wearing the masks and, and the, the 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 flat stocking caps, like my uh, Broadway chopper pink one. Yep. What are they called? Winter hat. <laughs> I am gonna knock you in the next week. They're, 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 it's called a winter hat. There's it's a called, name for it. A beanie. a beanie. A beanie. People are wearing beanies, masks, and sunglasses. That's like normal in north northeastern states. Okay. <laughs> or northern states. Yes. Where it's a little chilly. Yes. But anyways, all right. Side note. Side note. It, it wearing a mask, it, it works. It protects everybody. You know, it's the smart thing to do. It reinforces positive, you know. It's not a political your, statement. It's not. You get your wear your wear your political statements on your face. Everybody'll know. It wear your favorite brand on your every Every designer in the world has favorite, one. Favorite football Where's team, the big basketball lips? team. Where the big it, lips? You know, they got some that, that got lips that were, were the, it looks like a mask, a, a face, but and then the mask. Is oh, now like, now you can get your own face imprinted on. Yeah, I mean it's like. Did you see the one on the airline where the the girl sit next to the girl? She she got one made that made her look like her friend's face, so she yeah. put it on and then she pulled it down. Yeah, it look it look it looked like it was the, the mask was sitting on the chin. Yeah. <laughs> hilarious like i said you could do uh, uh you know get your favorite saying get your get your get favorite your 18 team. wheel talk yeah get your 18 wheel talk one you know we we have one you know so at, at support the show tab on 18 wheel talk.com there's all sorts of options you just you know but it it it, it will it, it, it in a way protect everybody you know so there are goods there, there are good reasons why we're giving you the excuses as to why I don't want to wear a mask. But there's a lot of good reasons. Protect your children. Kids can get this. People say, oh, my kids aren't going to get it. Oh, your kids can get it. It's But proven. they can. They yeah. can. That's why Pfizer is now, uh, you know, giving kids shots. Yeah. But but is it is it FDA approved? I don't know. No, they have emergency use. Okay, so, well, now, so you know what? You know what? This I look now. Let, let me pull. Let me put on the conspiracy theories hat. Okay, okay? turn because, your hat around. Because okay, I I always said that it was a virus released by but, Bill Gates. No, by by it, it, it's a government thing. Okay. Well, there was that big conference last that summer of nineteen. Uh, it was it was released because it was it was a virus that was created, and I feel that they 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 were testing it and it got out of control. Okay, that's that's in my eyes because there's the ID twenty twenty where they want to put like a a, a a microchip in your hand. That, there's that, companies that already have done that. I, that's about the size of a grain of rice. Yes. Okay, and, and it has all your banking information and all your, your health ID everything. Your, everything's on there. So so your hand gets scanned instead of instead of having to carry a wallet with all your shit in it. Yeah. There's you companies know, it, here in the states that already do this. Major companies. It's it's one of those. You know, I'm the conspiracy theorist. Every so often, I uh, you know my mind plays plays you know games with me. So I feel it was a government ploy to a wean out the population. B get everybody you know on this so you could be tracked. You could be you know that's my conspiracy. Well, theory yeah, a lot of conspiracy this. theorists believe say, that the shot has a tracker in. It. Who? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's well, what I was getting to. Who's to say that th that the, the shots don't have the the nanites that are able to track you i don't know you know I, that's because like it's, the card we got has a number on it exactly so, but that's that's the that's the so vial that the virus came so out so there's of. good reasons to wear a mask <laughs> supposedly if what supposedly supposedly the the number uh, that oh yeah you know. yeah that's the vial so there's good reasons to wear a mask mm -hmm. for women if you're broke saves on makeup yep you just gotta wear eye makeup you just gotta cut you gotta do your eyes yeah uh, that's you, what i do if i know and it looks so good uh, how, how do my eyebrows look today oh your oh brows and your your I lashes the, are fabulous i, I use the invisible the, the invisible yeah. you know mascara and stuff yeah. fabulous darling awesome fabulous. and for men and women both cover pimples yeah you can put your pimple creams and stuff on, put your bandaid on, and put your mask on. Exactly. Nobody's gonna know. Safe, and safe. and and if you got bad breath, nobody ha nobody gets to smell your breath because you got a mask on. Oh, that's a good one. Ha -ha! Thank you. Score. Score. Saves on lipstick too. 
like my red lipstick. I didn't mean to wear red lipstick today. I grabbed the wrong. You tube. so did. No, I because I, you got your red glasses. I on. meant to wear this lips, this lip shiny, the, glossy stuff, uh -huh. and instead I grabbed this. Well, I don't know what to tell you. See, I grabbed Glitterazzi Press and Play uh, well, lip color red. Shameless I, plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless and plug. And I meant to grab. <laughs> I meant to grab. Listen, we're not yeah, affiliated with these products. I, you cannot talk about them on the show. Well, just rewind <laughs> it and pretend I did it. I grabbed <laughs> bright. <laughs> I grabbed bright red instead of pink glossy. <sighs> so you can like you were talking about different types of masks. It's a way to express yourself. Right. Exactly. That's, that's looking what I was, like Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian and yeah, you name it. And celebrities are all, all the celebrities have these fancy diamond studded masks. And if you have a diamond studded mask on, you make lots of money. On. Can you send me one? You know, bling bling, baby. Yeah, bling, bling bling. Brings you, know. you in, brings you into the club. That's right. You know, like I said, it's there are do's and don'ts. You right. know, I mean, like I said, stores right now until until we've gotten to the herd immunity and we could say that this virus is gone or the pandemic is no longer because we're still in a pandemic yeah i mean i mean yes granted states are opening back up they're opening the doors and 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 you know releasing mask mandates i think they should hold the mask mandates until we are no longer in a pandemic i agree because I'm not saying I, I want to get back to normal. I don't want to have to go out and wear a mask. I okay, really don't. Do you want to know why I agree with you? Why? Because like they opened up Las Vegas. They opened up the clubs up in Scottsdale here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You go to a restaurant or a club up in Scottsdale mm -hmm. and it says masks are not required if you have had both shots. Yeah, That's the how, rule. How do you know? You walk in. We've had both shots. We're safe. How do we know that the guy walking in in front of us has what had you, both shots? What do you do? Show your card? They don't. I'm they a card can't. carrying. I'm a card, card carrying, carrying shot member. Got my card. <laughs> yeah, my car, bish. I'd rather show them my gun card. I, oh, you know the. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Let me back. in. Let me in. And, and give me you all your give money me, while you're give at me it. coronavirus. I'm gonna shoot your ass. And <laughs> give me your money while you're at it. <laughs> you know, but they can't do that because no. that is discrimination. That, I know. They can't right? enforce. They can't if they let people not wear masks in their club. They can't enforce asking them for. If it's a private club that you pay for, yeah, I, I think they, not, I think they, they have the requirements. But if it's an open club that they don't pay for, and yeah, they like say if it's a restaurant, but I'm trying or, to explain something. I I know I, I agree with you. No, you. Sorry, go ahead. If it's an open club that you don't have to pay to get into, mm -hmm. and it says masks are not required if you have had your COVID shots, okay, your vaccine, mm -hmm. but if you haven't, you have to wear a mask. They cannot enforce, just like Walmart can't enforce. Right. Okay. So you don't know. Exactly. They just have to have faith that people do it. Yeah. But well, if it says masks required, they can enforce it. Just like you said, if it's a private club, they can enforce it. They can make people prove that they've had their shot in a private club. I exactly. You know, you you don't have proof. It's like it's like airlines. They they they're going to start requiring proof that you've had your shot to fly into New so, York. So, you have to prove it. To, to actually get on a plane, yeah, you got to prove know. it. You have to show them your card. That's discrimination. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Everybody has to prove it. Everybody not just, has to. Not That's just white people or old people or you don't black like, people or whatever. You know, you know the airline's going to say, you don't like it? Don't, don't fly. Don't fly. Try. You don't have to get on our plane. We don't need exactly. you. Exactly. We don't need your yeah. business. It's just like <laughs> no shirt, no shoes, no service. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it's like. Unfortunately, you can look at the person and tell if they have shoes. And yeah, shirt on. Ex exactly. You can't look at a person and tell if they've had their, their vaccine. It's like, it's, I mean, if stores wanted to, they could mandate, hey, you need to show us proof that you, you, you've had your shots yeah. before you can enter our store. Do you know what's big on the market right now, though? What's that? Fake vaccine cards. Oh, of course. People are, well, I won't tell people how they're doing it, because, but there's fake vaccines. Come on. There's, of course, there's fake IDs, there's fake vaccines. Yeah. Of course. So I just know mine's real. Yeah, me too. And yours is real. Mm -hmm. And I know people are still scared of getting the vaccine, but they're the, usually the same people that don't want to wear a mask, so they stay at home all the yeah. time. Well, like I said, it's, they're still not FDA approved. And I get that. You know, so I understand why people are reluctant. That's why I was reluctant because it's only a, it's 
they made us all stay home. Okay. They, they made, they said, stay home. Everything shut down. Martial law wasn't in, in, enforced. They made us all stay home. And we all obeyed. We obeyed like sheep. Yeah. We all obeyed because they said, stay home. We didn't have to stay home. But we did. They shut everything down. They didn't make it a law. They didn't, well, they didn't cause, they didn't say martial law. Boom. Well, and it they, screwed people like me because I drove. It screwed a lot well, of people over. I drove for Lyft. Lyft shut down. By the time Lyft opened back up, our car no longer met the requirements yep. for Lyft. And to get our car back into the requirements, it costs more than we have. So yep. now I can't drive for Lyft because I don't have the two grand to put the car back in shape to drive for Lyft I again. And people am. are like, well, why don't you just go drive for Lyft? Well, because I don't have $2,000. Give me two grand to fix the Give car. Give me two grand to fix the car and I'll go drive again. You know, to us, the, the car is fine to drive. But to I'm them, not, it's. Yeah, I'm not putting a passenger in the car because it doesn't meet the requirements for new tires and new yeah. brakes and everything else yeah. that they're going to want me to do. Exactly. But like I said. I, but when I was driving, know, we had the income to keep up with the maintenance. Mm -hmm. We lost that income. That's that. I, I agree. But like I said, it's not FDA approved. And therefore, I you know, it's like. They, like I said, they made us all stay home without declaring martial law throughout the United States. Tell me how you really feel. I'm just telling you, hey, we all listened like it was, sheep. you know, so, so it, I, I don't Government even, was the big bad wolf and we were and, and then, and then, and then we're, we're begging for a bailout. Because we listened to Don't them. Don't get me started on the whole bailout. I, uh, trust me, it's like when there was people, fun, when there were funds for people to 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 sign up for. There was multi billion dollar companies getting these loans that they didn't need. And there was people with companies like us that applied and got turned down. Yeah, got nothing because nothing. Yeah, I don't get me started on that. But that's a that's a story for another time. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So we in, really got off track of um, masks. Anyways, in, close, <laughs> in closing, <laughs> in closing. In clo All right. So there's, there's the excuses as to why not. And, and, and some of them I agree with some of them. I disagree with there's, there's the reason you do have to wash them by the way. Yeah. You, the, when the, they, they get dirty. Yeah. The, the paper ones, they're, they're paper for a reason. It's it, they're one time use. You wear it one day and toss Throw it away. away. Um, the cloth ones, you can you can wear it, wash it, wear it again, wash it, wear it again, wash it. And there's over supposed and over. To, I forget it's supposed to be like a 30 day use on the cloth ones, but I don't. I think it's maybe half of that. I think it's like I, like 10 to 15 days. I don't know the exact. I think each one's made different. But like I said, you know, if it's required to wear a mask, just put a put a mask on. Get your favorite sports team on it. Get your favorite well, slogan on it. Get your favorite a, saying on it. Get your favorite president on it get your whatever and if you don't like the certain place making you wear a mask go don't find go there. A, don't go there go find a place that doesn't make you yeah, wear a mask exactly it's really that easy i mean come on it's not it's not rocket science it's really not it's kind of like i like hispanic food i love mexican food i'm allergic to cumin i don't go to restaurants that won't take cumin out of their food because i don't like dying I don't it's, like I don't like having to take that EpiPen and jam it in her chest. Leg. So, I get that confused. Leg. I'm sorry. Leg, chest You're right. The leg. leg. The leg. Adrenaline's in the chest. There are uh, restaurants that we go to here I'm in the sorry. valley that I call in advance. I get that and confused they take every human time. out of cer certain. Yeah, there is there is there is one particular restaurant. We're not affiliated with them. We we just love their food. Taco Guild. And and they. I call them in advance, and I say we're coming in tomorrow. They, is there any chance you would? They and they set do. aside some stuff so that I can eat there. They're one of the bigger ones that does it. There's a couple others, so. um, but most restaurants just say eat what you can, and we have no idea if cumin's in anything. So I don't go there. I agree because they won't accommodate my needs. Yep, so it's that they easy. Just don't get our business. We go somewhere else. So, so anyways. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for letting us we, rant. <laughs> we, we, we hope slightly we, off subject. We hope we entertained you. <laughs> yes, we went for. Like I said, I want to go back to normal. I don't want to have to wear a mask. Janet doesn't want to wear have to wear a mask. But, I don't want to have to put masks on our pugs. You know, it's we wear them because 
We have it's to. It's a requirement to go into stores that we enjoy shopping at. So I wear it. I don't care. And I always wear and, I, and I like wearing a mask on my bike, though. And I've been wearing it for oh, well over a year. So I'm kind of accustomed to it right now. It's like a habit. I leave the house and grab a mask. Yep. We have a hook for them. It's we, each, like, we each have our own hook. It's like I grab my hat. I grab my mask with it. It's that simple. <laughs> Sunglasses, mask. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for joining us. We were falling apart without you. Yes. No, we were not. <laughs> you got to stop saying that. Oh, come on. God. It's funny. Hey, hey, hey. hey help what? us uh, on a side note. Okay. We're getting ready to leave. We want to we want to support breast cancer. I'm a, I'm a firm supporter. It's taken on an especially. Um, Unique. Personal meaning. Yes. So we're, we're, what we have done is on our website, go to the number one, the number eight, wheeltalk.com and then forward slash BC support, or you can click the uh, support the show tab. Um, there's uh, help us fight breast cancer before October, October's breast cancer awareness month. So from now until the end of October, we have three shirts that we created that help support breast cancer or that are going to help support breast cancer because with your help we're we're going to donate money to breast cancer research we took our podcast logo and turned it pink it's really cool we took the green out and i and i and i made the green pink which caused the the blue to look purple so so we turned our logo pink and the back of the shirt says this this, this shirt supports breast cancer so I got him to say I got him to leave out the word boobies on that one. Yeah, I was gonna. Anyways, I was gonna do two hands. I said we support boobs and have hands like this, so it looks like you know, and support I, I, have support look like boobs. But anyways, I got a, him to not do that. You're anyway, welcome. We turned our logo pink, and and what we're doing is from now until the end of October, we are collecting all the money from the 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 proceeds of the t-shirts that we sell. And we're going to pay all, all the people that helped us make the t-shirts. And then we're going to take all the profits that are left over. And we're going to divide it in half. We're going to chop it in half. And we're going to donate it to breast cancer research. So please help us support breast cancer research. It would mean a lot to me. And, uh, you know, um, during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are going to do a show dedicated to breast cancer. So if you want us to give you a shout out on the show, Email me, Patrick, at 18 Wheel Talk. In the subject line, put breast cancer shout out, something like, uh, along those lines. You know, hey, I'd like to see somebody go to this facility because they helped my mother. They helped me. They helped, you know, Jane down the street. You know, we are I'm getting choked up. <laughs> We're passionate about it. Very so. Whew. That's going to be a hard show. <laughs> That's going to be a really hard show. It is because it's. It means more. It means more than, than, than what people actually think because everybody knows somebody. And it's always someone you that pops up that you didn't even realize. I Adversa. promise I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, it's, 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 it's something close to my heart. It's close to Janet's heart. And we need your help. Please. Okay, that being said, before I ruin my mascara. Thank you for joining he us. His. I know. Thank Anyways, you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And go support the show. Please. Okay, goodbye. Total.
podcast from a 25 plus year truck driver's point of view on life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is just his opinion of the world and much, much more. Much, much more. Sparked a revolution and it started in my heart. I used to be king of my own thing, but then he gave me a brand new start. Oh, I am.